Christine. You're Can producing you your way. You're bringing up clips. <laughs> <laughs> You're doing your thing. We're You're gonna... a girl about town. <laughs> We're going to do a bonfire musical. Yeah. The Christine song where she goes, Christine, you're more than a YouTube jockey. You're a producer of the show. <laughs> Executive producer Christine. I can see it now. <laughs> I'm going to be somebody big. Well, guess what, boys? The videos <laughs> don't play themselves. Pause, start, stop, finish. It's all the same to you. I'm in a tornado of commands. <laughs> Jacob's gone and Lou is drunk and Black Lou's doing something on social media. And I'm alone in the light. <laughs> Just a girl getting coffee for some people in the office. Donkey laughs. Donkey laughs. Well, I actually had the pleasure of opening for uh, for you, Brian, at Caroline's before yeah, you jumped to the, made I the remember. theater jump. The last one. Such a funny moment. I think I told you this on Oddball Tour. But uh, they told me, they're like, you want to work with Brian Regan this week? And I went, yes, for sure. Yeah. And Caroline's goes, uh, but you have to be like squeaky clean. And I was like, yeah, I'll, I'll figure it out, like for sure. And on the very first show, was uh, I was going squeaky clean. And there's a guy in the audience, just, I think he was gone before you, uh, before you even got on stage. But like, he was just giving it to me. We were just going, and I was trying to like go back at him with like, huh, this guy's being a real jerk, huh? <laughs> I bet you I'm trying to be clear. I'm, I'm, a, I'm like, yeah, why don't you go home and have sex with a man? <laughs> <laughs> clean comebacks. Yeah. Clean, Look at dirty. this weirdo. <laughs> yeah. Cool shirt, jerk. <laughs> 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 this guy's a real jerk. <laughs> I, came, I, I came back in the green room, and it was great. I told you that. And, and my, my favorite thing about that story I thought was the coolest thing ever was you went, you could curse, huh? It doesn't matter to me. <laughs> like you yeah, just, like, the club was, it was came down so hard. I was like, like See, "Sir, you are a real bad guy. You, <laughs> oh, I don't like the kind of person you are at all." Talking you loud. See, you seem like a filthy man, a bad man. I I opened for Nate Bargatze in uh, West Virginia, and he was like, "Hey, man, you got to be clean." And I thought that I always kind of thought that thing of like, "How clean do you have to be?" So I cut out all my curse words, but I said, God damn. Uh -huh. And a woman in the second row just goes, he said GD. And that fu that fucked with me. <laughs> yeah. That just threw sure. me into a tailspin because I was like, what else in my head? All I could think when I was for the rest of the set was, what other words are bad that I don't know are bad? <laughs> <laughs> well, uh, I, I do like to work with people who are not super dirty in front of me, but I don't like to censor people. Yeah. Sure. So there's a difference between booking somebody who works clean and asking somebody who you just book hey you have to work clean tonight yeah because i don't like throwing that on people i sure, don't want to sure, censor sure. i don't want to censor you right right no for you sure no I mean? that's why that's what i loved about when we could talk in the back you were like oh, yeah, i wouldn't tell you how to do it which i thought was such a cool thing that yeah. is a very cool thing i had another comic uh before who was just I, I worked with him before he went on the theaters and it always blew my mind when i went on stage i wasn't very dirty but i could when i got off stage he asked me to come in the back to go I need you to be squeaky clean. And it was one of those, like, this guy was getting ready to go huge, too. So the audience was so excited when he touches the stage, it wouldn't have matter what happened. And yeah. Same thing, I, you know, with you, Brian. I, I, I don't think I've ever told you a, a story that, because I was such, so mortified as a young kid, that same weekend, you know this, don't I know you? this yeah. story, and this is, uh, this is an, yeah. It's this a is great, great story. I mean, it's a terrible story. It's but a it's terrible a great story, story, but the fact that Brian's on the show and you could tell it to him, I think you've told the story before on the I'm sure on the show. But it's a, a thing of being opening for someone and having just a fucking colossal. It's a real story of the uh, beware who you tell. Like, yeah, I'll get you and your friends or whoever into the show. Right. Uh, I when I first got to New York, just trying to find work that wasn't difficult and. Also, as a fat and secure guy, I tried to get a job at a weird strip club right across the street from Caroline's. I think it was more of a whorehouse. Uh, no booze, and it was just a very bizarre small place, with, and the women in there were scraggly. But I, when I went in there and talked to the guy and told him I was a comedian, I became friendly with the bartender guy. Mm -hmm. And he would come see me do comedy shows once in a while. The guy who owned the place was a much more seedy gentleman. 
He was the guy. If you can believe in. that. Yeah, and I said it like was the expression. It was funny. <laughs> CD gentleman. <laughs> I, again, I'm I'm pretty. Uh, you know, uh, I'll go into a, a dark, weird place with things and think things are interesting or even as dirty is great. However, this guy would just do a thing when the girls walked by. It was a very like, look at this new one. Like you know, like grab an ass cheek or a t- it was very mm. odd. But they asked me when you were in town if they can come see the show. So I said I'll, I'll they're probably sold out. But Caroline's was nice to me, and they gave him uh, four tickets. He goes, we're also going to bring. Uh, there's four of us. <laughs> it's great watching. I'm just watching Brian's face process. Yeah. You say you go. So this is one of the worst human beings I've ever met. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. He well, I brings didn't... three wild cards. <laughs> it was more You're headlining. It was more off. the bartender <laughs> brought three people. One of them being the owner and two of the girls. But I did not know it was going to happen. Where do they sit them? <laughs> Front and center. Oh, no. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> you know what? The, but I can say this. It's like the ghost of Christmas future. That show's in the past. Don't worry, Brian. This oh, isn't happening past. right I'm getting now. an anxiety attack now. <laughs> like, how am I going to handle this? And I've it, watched, it happened like many years ago. Yeah, what watched, am I opening with? <laughs> I've watched uh, uh, 100 plus sets of yours from TV to live to that weekend. I've never <laughs> seen in the middle of one of your bits... You just broke and were like, Miss, like you're talking, how rude you're being. You gave her like a talking to, which was oh. legitimately, wor- and I'm watching in the back going like, <laughs> oh. I'm like, did oh you? I'm out of show business. I'm like, I, this is going to be so, like the club is going to be like, I mean, they couldn't have a piece of paper on their thing that says more guests of Jay Oakerson. <laughs> and Could I'm- you see... Now, Brian's on stage, uh-huh. and you're in the back. And for those that don't know Caroline's, it's like a back, and then it's a hallway. So you're actually around the corner. So you're listening to Brian on stage. Mm-hmm. Did you know when he broke his bit that he was talking to the people you brought? A hundred percent. There was no one else that could have possibly been. It was an audience that was all there to see him specifically. Yeah. Sold out. They put my guest, for some reason, right in the front of people that were like, I guess, you know, like, it's like we're going to come see. They were more going for, like, the hookup of me, like, right. getting them Right, because or... when you said earlier that they wanted to come see the show, I immediately thought, I don't think this <laughs> fan <laughs> like, they were fan coming to mine. see my show. They were just going to see a comedy show. I don't think they're a fan of mine, as I'm not worried about them hearing this at all. <laughs> I don't think this guy that was pawing on these young women go, man, I want to hear jokes about donuts. He goes, he goes come here. These wholesome heard? donut sprinkle jokes. He goes, come here, baby. Come here, baby. You ever heard a good Pop-Tart joke? <laughs> She's like, I don't know. I like Pop-Tarts. Yeah, well, I got your guy. <laughs> I, did you? Can you? When you're on stage. Have I got a guy for you, Tip Raps? <laughs> yeah. 